right, I'm uh, Dale Burgoyne. And, and I'm Denise Burgoyne. We um, have been traveling for probably the last 20 years pretty extensively. Our kids are now grown up. Our kids are in their 30s. late 30s almost. We have six grandkids. And so we need to travel to see them. That's part of what we do. Uh, we retired 2016. And one of the first things we did was build this little travel trailer for ourselves. It's uh, probably the tiniest um, teardrop camper that you'll see. We also travel a lot to Europe. We travel recently to Asia. So we split our time between traveling here in the US, I would say, and traveling outside Abroad. the country. My friends would probably say we stay home 1%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because we don't uh, stay home too long. Uh, in the summer we do. We st well, even in the summer, we go up to our cabin up in Fort Kent, uh, northern Maine, and uh, they come to visit us there. But other than that, maybe the most we stay at home. Oh, the maybe. last two or three years have been two weeks, and then we're off somewhere. Yeah, kind of two weeks at a time, but so maybe 20% of our time is spent at home in southern Maine. And the rest of the time is either spent at our cabin or just traveling. Like this. We like to do things that keep us pretty active. Uh, we take our bicycles with us. Uh, we have our paddle boards that travel with us. And we typically are looking for a place where we can do some paddling, where it's warm, and or we can do some cycling. This is our teardrop camper. We pull it behind our Mini Cooper. Uh, we already had the car before. So when we saw this available as a kit, we decided it'd be a good idea to build one because that's probably all we could pull with a Mini Cooper. Um, we have a queen size bed in here, uh, so there's lots of room to stretch out. This is where we sleep, and uh, you'll see this area here is where our legs go. You can't see it very well because it's a little dark. And our kitchen, you'll see in a minute, is right over this. Um, so when we're in here, uh, this gives you an idea of what we see. We have a television here for, of course, watching YouTube channels and uh, just for entertainment on rainy days. Ventilation, you see these two fans up here provide really good uh, air on us when we're sleeping. There's no air conditioner, but this uh, it's called a fantastic fan, and a lot of uh, large motorhomes have these. Ours is the same size as for a large motorhome, so uh, we get a lot of air movement in here, which uh, makes it super comfortable, even in quite, uh, quite warm weather. So, yeah, so it comes in through these air vents over here, or oh, these doors, we have the doors cracked open. Oh, that's an air vent. That's a mushroom vent, yep. It's yes. Oh, cool. So you've got two of those vents for the air to come in for the fan up there. And there's two back here, so we have air coming in near our feet and near our heads. Okay. Um, you can just feel a nice slight breeze in there all the time for that reason. Very nice. Okay. This is our, uh, our kitchen. Uh, this is where we prepare all our food. Um, some of this is dedicated to um, pots and pans that we use for cooking. Other areas are sort of dedicated to food, and obviously you can be creative with this. Um, our spices, our more food over in this area. This is sort of like where we keep our oatmeal and our flour. We're going to make that kind of thing. Um, and then again, food storage over here, way over on the left. Uh, this area has our, our plates. And uh, because of the way this is slotted, keeps them from exiting while we're traveling down the road. The rest of this are just containers that we came up with that fitted in those spots fairly well. And it's mostly uh, things for washing the dishes or cups, utensils, that sort of thing. This is our little entertainment nook. So we have a little Bose speaker in here. And that uh, gives us some entertainment when we're outside. When we're inside, we actually take that and plug it into our television so that we get a little bit more uh, lifelike sound than we would otherwise. And I see you've got lights under here. Does this light it up enough so that you could cook here at night? It does, actually. It's quite bright. Uh -huh. I consider putting a dimmer on it for that reason. But uh, yeah, all of this is run by a battery that is stored here. So it's nothing more than what we call a deep cycle 12 volt battery. Mm -hmm. And the battery can charge from the car it can charge from our plug-in, if we're plugged in like we are right now, uh, or we have the option to add solar panels and to have it charge from those solar panels as well. Nice big surface area yeah, we to have, work on. We have uh, you know cutting boards tucked away and little, little secret spots here. Mm -hmm. We have several of those, as well as these grocery bags 
when we uh, have more groceries than what will fit in those cubbies, when we travel, we just put one bag here and one here, and we're able to close the hatch mm -hmm. down on it. Um, do you want to see how the hatch closes? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, yeah. And these stoves are great. I mean, they light the first time, you know, this because you have one. What I mean, brand is that one? This one is just tethered by these blocks. I-W-A-T-A-N-I. -I. Yes. So that stays there. When we're traveling, we have some bungee cords that go through these loops mm -hmm. that hold the stove down. Actually, we put this on top of it as well, so it holds that pan and keeps that from bouncing around. Nice. So here's the, here's the cover. Hopefully, we have everything out of the way. Pop that down, push these little snaps down, and now we're ready to travel. The camper is, um, the kit is sold by a CLC Boats. It stands for Chesapeake Lightcraft. Uh, they've been in business for years. They typically make uh, boat kits, uh, kayak kits, like canoes and kayaks. Mm -hmm. And we had some experience building canoes and kayaks, not necessarily theirs. Um, so we thought, hey, this is maybe a project that uh, we can handle. And it turned out it was certainly well within our capability, and I think it would be for a lot of folks. Um, so it's Chesapeake Lightcraft. They're out of Maryland. They did a fantastic job with these kits. Everything comes flat, so you see all these curves, but everything's flat when you get it. Uh -oh. uh, then you set it into a mold that you build. Mm -hmm. Very good at very thorough instructions on everything. You built a mold for it? Yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah, we built a mold to get the curves in there, uh -huh. and once the curves are set, then you take it out of the mold, and then you just, you know, you start working on it from there. Wow. And he added all these lighting has not come with the kit. Yeah, you came up with the LED lights and, and the eyebrow lights here too. So oh, that's lighting. nice. That's nice yeah, at night, isn't it? Yeah. And and what is this material again? It's uh, mahogany marine plywood. Mahogany marine plywood. Right. And is it easy to work with then? It is quite easy to work with. It's not very thick. It's only about um, maybe a three sixteenths of an inch thick. However, it gets covered in fiberglass, and this is where all the work happens. It gets completely covered in fiberglass encased on both sides, even on the interior. So it's completely waterproof, weatherproof, and the fiberglass is what really gives it its strength, mm -hmm. where if it was just wood, you could easily break it, even with what I just did. It would be mm -hmm. quite fragile. And it just comes out so pretty. Um, and how about this trailer? Did that come with the kit or you had to do that separate? Yeah, so that's interesting. You can do the trailers, uh, you can do any trailer that you want. Mm -hmm. And there are some out there that people buy a really economical trailer, like from Harbor Freight, mm -hmm. uh, and build one of those. But the company that makes the kit also came out with a kit trailer, working with another tra with a trailer company. So they don't sell it directly. But this trailer is specifically sized and made to fit this camper. Mm -hmm. um, and... It comes UPS in a couple of fairly small boxes, and it's all bolted together. In fact, my wife Denise, I was traveling for a few days. When I came home, she had it all put together because it came in while I was gone. So she assembled the whole trailer herself in maybe, ha for the tongue. maybe half a day to a day. A day. A day? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I bet that even the trailer is probably extremely light because the overall package is how much? It is. It might It might be 500 pounds at most with everything that we have on it right now. Wow. With everything in it. Did yeah. you catch that? That's really something. This here, without the mattress and all of that, this, the, the, the shell the shell itself, Denise and I could easily pick it up ourselves, the two of us. So it was maybe 150 to 200 pounds at most mm. for just the shell. So then you plop it on the trailer. The trailer is all aluminum, so no corrosion. And, um, and it's light also. Um, it comes with a wiring kit for all of the lights. So we have lights back here. We have side lights. We have did add one that I added up here. Um, and the reason is the only lights we had prior to this were the brake lights that are way down here. Oh, the yeah, the brake lights are. Yeah, yeah and hard. when you're behind this and those light up, yes, you can see it, but really not enough. I not it, not as that. impressive as having yeah, that up there. So we added this light right here, and it even works with our blinkers where it, you know, it goes right or left, showing you which way you're turning. But when I break, or when we break, those lights get really bright. Yeah. I, these are interesting uh, See seams here. here. Yeah. Yes. Um, that certainly makes it stronger, doesn't it? it? Well, it does. And the reason those are like that, it looks like a puzzle piece, mm -hmm. is that plywood only comes eight feet long. Mm. And, like, this piece, as an example, starts here 
and it ends all the way down in the front right at the, oh. at the floor and so this was eight feet and we had to add to that so these parts come with this puzzle uh joint cut into it yes. of course you have to assemble it you have to fiberglass it but that's how we make the sheets longer than uh, eight feet. Right. And I believe you can see even the one. even the hinges are cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all they're all might as well at this point, right? Yeah. And you see more of these uh, puzzle pieces here. Everyone notices that, mm -hmm. and, and of course they all think that we cut that, but we didn't. No. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> On the front here, they have a optional plans a kit for an optional storage box. So we put this on the front. We think it looks pretty attractive for what mm -hmm. it is. It's completely watertight, so we could put what we like in here, even things that could get wet. And a lot of our sports gear is in here. We even carry a solo fire pit all inside of this. Um, here we have our, our cooler. You know, it's one of those uh, thick, very efficient coolers. And all of our refrigerated groceries are in there. Mm -hmm. We like it because we don't have to put a lot of ice in there. Just a half gallon usually does the trick. Um, or a bag of ice will last for three or four days a lot mm -hmm. of times. Um, the rest of this in here is our clothing, um, some of our rain gear, cold weather clothing, that sort of thing. So that's pretty much everything forward of here is, is our, uh, the things we wear. So you've got um, the seats down, mm -hmm. folded yes. down, so that you have more room to carry. Mm -hmm. right. Did you take the seats out in the back for this? No. No, no, no. this just, this this just, just opens up. Again, we keep some of our, these are our snorkel masks. We've got a jack here in case we have a problem, break down. Um, you know, this is our toolkit. This is part of the toolkit for removing wheels from the trailer if we need to upgrade them or change them, which we did today, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice to have that extra storage space. It I know. It is, yeah, I know. It's yeah. really nice. So this is a 2016 uh, Mini Cooper Countryman all four so it means it's four wheel drive um, when it needs it and it's also the s version so it's turbocharged um, which is really kind of what we need to be able to pull a trailer and have it feel like you know we're not the car's not working hard mm -hmm. we put our bicycles up on that roof rack and they're on there they're locked or they can be locked Yes. And is it, it says mini. Does that mean it's made for this car? It is. Yep. This this section here is just the the standard roof rack that you can buy for a mini like this. And then these are also put out by mini, but made, of course BMW is the owner of Mini Cooper now. Mm. And so these are made specifically. I think they're made by Thule. Oh. Like specifically for this vehicle. For, for this car. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. So this is that fireplace you referred to. Yes. That is the Solo Bonfire, it's what it's called. It's sort of their middle size um, fire pit. And these have become very popular because the way they're designed with the holes in the bottom and holes along this top edge, um, they are pretty much smoke free. And we found you know, the size that sort of perfectly fits inside of our storage box over there. Mm -hmm. We put a plastic bag on it and then we just fill it with stuff so it almost doesn't take any space. Right. Yeah, they have cooktops available, we just mm -hmm. haven't done that yet. Yeah. Yeah. So Denise and I are, I wouldn't say we're avid cyc cyclists, but we have done quite a few uh, cycling tours on our own. We, um, early last year, early this year, this early year, this year right. we cycled the Danube um, right. from, oh, we did the Rhine this year, that's right, mm -hmm. from, um, Switzerland to Rotterdam in the Netherlands. So I think it was five countries total that we passed through. Um, were you bike packing? You weren't bike packing. Yes. You were well, bike packing. Well, we had panniers. Yes. Yeah, we had panniers, but we were staying in in hostel, no, either hostels or nice yes. inns. Oh. You know. So I thought just teenagers did that when they skipped a year of college or something. I know. Well, <laughs> we're a little late. That's all. <laughs> we're just a little late. So we love to cycle, and so we always take our bikes with us. We're always looking for great places to ride. And then we really love the water. We used to kayak mostly, but kayaks weren't small enough or light enough to carry um, our setup here. So we bought these two paddle boards. Mm -hmm. We built these two paddles. Great, great <laughs> Lakes paddle boards. And this company is great because they actually delivered it right to our house. It's just a unique marketing strategy for them, but it worked for us because we remain kind of far away from everything and shipping for paddle boards is Ridiculous. incredible, very high. And that's their way of making that work. Well, so. they get rid of the middleman and the cost is less to us. 
Mm -hmm. uh, if you had to buy this in the store, you'd be paying probably twice as much as what we paid for them. Mm -hmm. And they come right to your house. Mm. They set yeah. up with the fins, they put the... It came, with, it came with paddles, uh, but we didn't really like them. So we had some, some cedar and at home. And so we just built these paddles and these oh, are all... Oh, no, you did it. You yeah. you built the paddles, huh? <laughs> so, and this is similar construction to what we did on the camper, actually. Yeah. It's it's wood with fiberglass on it, so it's very, very strong. Yeah, and light. Um, and super light, yeah. yeah. It weighs a lot less than the paddles they gave us, so... So how much do they weigh when you're... About 30 pounds. 30 pounds each? Yeah. Um, these are probably about 35 to 40 pound bikes. They're not super light because, you know, we had... You know, our own um, seats to here that we like. We love these leather seats. They're super comfortable. And so we've added those to both of our bikes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we carry a water bottle. We're not after going light. It's more about being able to carry the things that we need when we travel. Right. Um, we have these uh, tule racks here that are made for paddle boards. Uh, they're really nice. We can throw them on there and have them tied down in a matter of like two minutes. Mm -hmm. So we really like these racks. Um, we really, I'm not sure exactly why we put the paddle boards on here. I think because they're, they're lighter and less, uh, they have less wind resistance. So we ended up putting the paddle boards on here. That works out great. And they're longer. And yeah. they're longer. Yeah. They're longer than the camper actually. Oh, well, <laughs> but at least it's not on top of your car and longer than your car, right. which seems yeah, right. the efficient thing to do. Right. Yep. And not just that, we have the panoramic, uh, roof in the car so if we put the paddle boards in there we really block all the sun so the bikes hardly take anything yeah you don't see much of that okay so you've got this rack for the yes. paddle boards mm -hmm. and we already showed this rack for the bikes mm -hmm. so you are quite a sight going down the road <laughs> it is we yeah are, get out they're surprised too great people get out and they have all these <laughs> exercise you know biking and boarding they're like we always say try and keep up with us if you can. Yeah, <laughs> I'll say. And it's, and it's a lot. It's a lot of fun for us. You know, we're out here to be in the outdoors as much as we can, and this really does it for us. You know, yeah. we looked at uh, campers, even smaller campers, and we just weren't ready for that. So, this is sort of our in between. Maybe someday we'll uh, shift over, but for now, this works. Well, I would say we couldn't imagine not doing this. No, and the kids we've uh, brought, well, Dell has brought the grandkids, uh, both of us have brought the grandkids from camping in this little camper. But they're getting bigger, so we're actually thinking of maybe in a couple of years when they get a little older, getting an Airstream that we can carry maybe three kids with us uh, and hold that until they get to be teenagers and don't want to be with their grandparents anymore. But right. <laughs> until then, uh, we're going to use this little teardrop camper, and uh, I don't see us stopping. Yeah, no, we, we were joking about it on the way down. We said, hey, wouldn't it be awesome if we could still do this? We're 62 now. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could do this at 72 and then at 82, you know? And so that's our goal. That's our goal is to. Yeah. So we'll keep doing it until we can't. Yeah. Oh, for sure.